Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and thank you for joining me on this emergency video today. And we're talking the war is here, and I'm not talking about the war war, all right? The war between you being able to heat your home this year and for you to be able to afford to buy food. What they are talking about is just astronomical in the fact that, you know, the, the prices are all rising. They're already predicting high prices way above last year whatever you did pay for however you do heat your home this is something you really need to pay attention to depending on the area and the demographic area that you do live in if you have colder winters longer colder winters or if you are in a southern climate where you don't use that much maybe you'll be okay but you got to hear these figures folks and i'm going to talk about at the end also what you can do to try to um, offset some of this and hopefully have a great backup system in case there is no power or they turn off the gas or the heating oil trucks can't get to you because it's such a bad winter. What are you going to do? You have to start planning now, folks, because you're running out of time, all right, because you're not going to be able to afford these prices on top of the food prices in with the inflation, the recession, and everything else is taking place. This is going to be very bad for a lot of people out there. So heed the warning. All right. They expect that nearly half of U.S. households that heat primarily with natural gas will spend 30% more than they spent last winter on average. It bumps up to 50% more if it's a colder winter. And it drops to 22% more if it's a warmer winter. So it just depends on where we fall at in this criteria. All right, folks, if you heat your home with electricity, it's probably one of the cheapest ways to heat your home. But what happens if the power goes out and you have no heat whatsoever? You know, you're looking to spend about 6% more than you did last year on your electric bill. It bumps up to 15% if it's a colder winter, and it drops to 4% if it's a warmer winter. All right, so electricity is definitely, you know, a good way to go, but you're putting all your eggs in one basket with just having electricity because if the power goes out because of a storm, um, you're pretty much screwed, and even saving that kind of money ain't going to do you no good. So there's 5% of the U.S. households that heat basically with propane. Now, this is going to cost you 54% more this year than it did last year. 94% more if it's a colder winter and 29% more if it's a warmer winter. Um, there's 4% of U.S. households that heat with heating oil. That's going to attack you for 43% more than it did last year. 59% in a colder winter and 30% more only if it's a warmer winter. So it all depends on where we all fall in your area on what you're going to be looking at. Now let's break down some numbers here so you guys kind of understand what I'm talking about. Heating oil, they expect that the 4% of the U.S. households that use heating oil, your heating oil fuel this winter will average about $1,800 for this winter. That's 43% more than last winter if you're using heating oil. All right. Now, this is also based on depending on the climate, if it's a warmer or colder winter. That's what all these figures are based on. So just be aware of that. All right, nearly half of all households that heat primarily with natural gas, you're looking to spend about 800 bucks more than you did last year. That's 30% more than what they paid last year for their natural gas. People that use electricity to heat their home, you're going to pay about $1,300 this year, and that's about 6 more percent than what it was last year based on what they are predicting for average highs and lows for this upcoming winter. Now, you do get a lot of different variations with that right now. Um, 
So it's just something that you people really want to really sit back and take a look at. If you're heating with electricity, propane, heating oil, or natural gas, those four there, they're going to cost you more. Some are less, some are more. What is the availability in your area? And what do you have for backup? What I would really highly suggest everybody do is, is look into getting either a wood stove or a wood pellet stove to fall back on. This way here you have something to generate heat with this upcoming winter, especially with these high fuel prices. Yes, the price of a quart of wood has gone up, but in the long run, if you have something like wood or wood pellets, you can offset maybe some of your cost in heating your home and staying warm this way here, it, it doesn't get down to where you have to choose between heating your home and buying food to put on the table. And if you don't have the availability to do something like that, right now is a good time for you to be stocking up on food to get you through the winter this year, folks. All right. I know a lot of people out there, you don't want to be labeled as preppers. All right, so now you're preparing for winter, just like people have done for hundreds of years. You put food up to get you through the long, cold winters. And this way here, if your energy bill is higher, it's not going to turn around and tack you, and you're not going to like freak out because you don't have the money to say, you know, put food on the table or heat your home and keep your family warm. So these are just some things that you can do to try and be prepared. Start looking for some really good buys. Start shopping around. Put meat in the freezer. Use your vacuum sealer. This way here you can vacuum seal it. And, you know, you may want to just make sure that, you know, things are really going good. So this way here, if you get hit with a really bad storm and your heating bills go through the roof, you can afford it and you still have food on the table. Buy your canned goods, shop your buy one, get ones, hit all the different stores you can to get these great deals. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope everybody stays safe. You try to stay warm. Start planning now for this upcoming winter because the price to heat your home is going to bankrupt you in the long run because you're going to have to come up with some way to heat the home and put food on the table at the same time in the times we live in now. So until next time, folks, you all stay safe, keep prepping, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.